Harold Frederick Shipman, the 14th of January 1946 at the 13th of January 2004, known to acquaintances as Fred Shipman, was an English general practitioner who is believed to be the most prolific serial killer in modern history. On the 31st of January 2000, Shipman was found guilty of the murder of 15 patients under his care. His total number of victims was approximately 250. Shipman was sentenced to life imprisonment with the recommendation that he never be released. He committed suicide by hanging on the 13th of January 2004, a day before his 58th birthday, in his cell at Wakefield Prison. The Shipman Inquiry, a two-year-long investigation of all deaths certified by Shipman, which Dame Janet Smith chaired, examined Shipman's crimes. The inquiry identified 215 victims and estimated his total victim count at 250, about 80% of whom were elderly women. Shipman's youngest confirmed victim was a 41-year-old man, although suspicion arose that he had killed patients as young as four. He is the only British doctor known to be guilty of murdering his patients although other doctors have been acquitted of similar crimes or convicted on lesser charges. Shipman Effect The Shipman Case, and a series of recommendations in the Shipman Inquiry Report, led to changes to standard medical procedures in Britain, now referred to as the Shipman Effect. Many doctors reported changes in their dispensing practices, and a reluctance to risk over-prescribing pain medication may have led to under-prescribing. Death certification practices were altered as well. Perhaps the largest change was the movement from single doctor general practices to multiple doctor general practices. This was not a direct recommendation, but rather because the report stated that there was not enough safeguarding and monitoring of doctors' decisions. The forms needed for a cremation in England and Wales have had their questions altered as a direct result of the Shipman case. For example, the persons organizing the funeral must answer, do you know or suspect that the death of the person who has died was violent or unnatural? Do you consider that there should be any further examination of the remains of the person who has died? In media, Harold and Fred, they make ladies dead, was a cartoon strip in a 2001 issue of Viz, also featuring serial killer Fred West. Some relatives of Shipman's victims voiced anger at the cartoon. Harold Shipman, Dr. Death a night TV television dramatization of the case, was broadcast in 2002 it starred James Bolam in the title role. A documentary also titled Harold Shipman, Dr. Death, with new witness testimony about the serial killer, was shown by ITV as part of its crime punishment strand on the 26th of April 2018. The program was criticized as offering little new insight. A play titled Beyond Belief A Scenes from the Shipman Inquiry, written by Dennis Wolfe and directed by Chris Honor was performed at the Library Theatre, Manchester, from 20 October to the 22nd of November 2004. The script of the play comprised edited verbatim extracts from the Shipman Inquiry, spoken by actors playing the witnesses and lawyers at the inquiry. This provided a stark narrative that focused on personal tragedies. The satirical artist Cold War Steve regularly features Harold Shipman in his work. The Shipman Files, a very British crime story, a three-part documentary by Chris Wilson, was broadcast on BBC Two focused on the victims and how he went undetected for so long, 